Hola. <laughs> He's Charlie. He's Lucas. Uh, we are creative directors at White and Kennedy London. Uh, we work for clients like Intuit QuickBooks, uh, which helps small business to manage their finance, and we work for not so small clients like Amazon. Welcome the contradictions. Um, so we put, we put this picture in the beginning of our presentation to show you how obsessed we are with chickens, but um, also because we want to show you how obsessed we are with craft. Um, yeah, there was a picture from a shoot in Chile a few years ago in Madre where we met. It's a KFC ad, so it's not our first chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, we also um, wrote the word hola there to remember us and to share with you that we are not from here, we are from Brazil and from Argentina, and English is not our first language, so that limitation turned to be the source of our uh, body of work that t turned to be like very, very visual. As, as you'll see tonight, in, in this work we want to share with you. Uh, so this is it. This is Genesis Nightmare. Losing track of invoices has led to an unexpected visit from her suppliers. Merely a figment of her unwelcome imagination. Give us another red, Janice. With QuickBooks, Janice can see her finances in real time, so there's no surprises. Crazy, right? Um, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, it was. It's such a crazy uh, story we're telling here, but um, it's really funny because it comes from a very rational thinking and a, ra a very rational process. So let's do a bit of like rewinding. <laughs> ah, I was putting a lot of um, expectation on that joke. Um, <laughs> so um, how we, did we get here? So yeah, like a lot of rational decisions, a lot of very rational conversations with uh, a lot of like building up a team with our clients, uh, the QuickBooks client and the Widens clients, and the Widens uh, team, sorry. Um, yeah, so the scenario that when we were brief is not very different from what we see today. Um, recession, inflation, increased interest rates, supply chain issues, stuffing, Brexit issues. So, um, yeah, running a small business, sorry. Running a small business is hard at the best of times, and times just got harder. So I know, I know t tonight there are many freelancers and uh, entrepreneurs in, in this audience. I'm, I know it because my partner is here. She's starting an art magazine. Um, it's a lovely project. You should check it, pinamagazine.com. Um, <laughs> and she uses QuickBooks. Yeah, of course. <laughs> So yeah, running a small business is really hard and now it's, it's even harder. We see a lot of news about small business closing and this is a kind of the harsh reality of, the, of QuickBooks, QuickBooks customers. So we, th we thought like, okay, let's, let's not make anything happy clappy. Let's make something that really has some tension and really has a, a bite in it. And the, the product proposition is very simple. QuickBooks helps manage the difficult parts of running a business so you can be in the most relaxed place there is on top of, on top of things. Uh, finance is something that is, is, is the least of the problems that you want to have when you, when you run a business. You have so many 
difficult decisions to make. Uh, and then they let us shoot this line, get peace of mind, get, get QuickBooks, um, which is a platform that allows us to write a lot of scenarios. And our team, uh, Derek Louis and Thomas Coleman, kudos for them, they're an amazing team. They're not with us anymore. They went to New York. Yeah, <laughs> they're great. So they wrote a few scenarios. I'm just gonna name a few here so you understand a little bit of the craziness they, their minds are. They had a sluggish minicab company. They had a melting ice cream parlor. They had a furniture like leaving and abandoning this furniture shop owner behind. Had some gnomes on, on strike, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, they had a mechanic that becomes a car. Somehow they thought about that. That wasn't that good. <laughs> we killed that one. Um, <laughs> And then there was some dogs that hopefully you're going to see coming out soon as, as the sequel of this one. And finally, we got a winner. Uh, it's the ad you just uh, watch. And this is how the script looked like when we presented to the client. It's, uh, it's a funny script with a lot of uh, the word X written on it. Uh, and we, we put some visuals together to start to you know, convince our clients uh, to get into this journey with like tons of eggs, menacing chickens, and a very, very, very stressed um, business owner. I'm talking about crazy. Yeah, so a poor thing that script allows us to have like this guy on board. He's an amazing director that we always wanted to work with. He brought a lot of um, himself into this work, as you can see. <laughs> and when you, look for, when you look for a director uh, to, to help you to uh, come this project to life, uh, you need someone like Ian, like, um, you know, like, like he, he understood the, the story from the beginning and he visualized the story uh, even before us, we, we could do it. Um, if, you, if you see the left side of the screen, just to clarify, it's Ian and the right is the chickens. Uh, they look so similar, uh, that is impressive. Yeah, great, so once you get this guy approved, uh, of course, he writes a treatment, and it's a really interesting part of the process that you can you know, build an idea and write a few more scenes and do kind of a, an expansion of, of the tone of voice. And another creative team that just got involved in this, Sammy and Will, cheers to them too. Woo. They were really, really good in like making this script a little bit richer and a little bit more interesting visually. Yeah, like for example, uh, there is one of the pages yeah. with the eye that looks like, like a fried egg. Uh, that was part of like this edition after the script stages. And then we jump into um, the storyboarding. And if you follow the story, it's quite similar to what you just watched. Quiet, I wouldn't say. Um, but for example, in the beginning, there was this starting point where uh, Ian was um, thinking of having like this super big table, like communal table, where like all the customers were having X. And, and we thought it was fun, but then like, ooh, maybe it's too much, like, like, like too much confusion. But um, we thought like the turning of the camera on top of uh, the customers was a really cool thing to, uh, to keep. Um, so, so that was a bit of like the rationale on the storyboards. Yeah, I know the process was amazing. We had an amazing production designer, Marucha, um, cheers to that. She really made this kind of chiringuito, like it's a diner in Spain, super weird place. She made it really detailed, like the nightmare she really brought to life. The words eggs in every bit of it, like changed the tiles. And it was kind of a weird experience to be inside that set. Like with the casting, they're so diverse and the features were so big and the wardrobe was making this place quite nightmarish, to be honest. Like it was quite theatrical, even before the lenses was kind of weird situation to be there. It's definitely not the place you wanna uh, stop with your family on holidays to have a coffee for sure. And, um, and this was also very rational. Like if you see these two guys, they, they are the guys from the opening scene and um, many of these decisions, we were taking it with the rational of like creating this tension, like adding this tension to the, to the nightmare and making it more believable and, and, and showing the suffering of these uh, entrepreneurs, you know, in, the, in their day to day. And, and then 
as a contrast, like showing a solution for uh, um, yeah. our uh, with the QuickBook solution. Yeah, the important bit also was like the same set we dressed twice because we dressed the set for the nightmare bit, and then there was the real life when she's just chill. There was very subtle differences that really make it like different. <laughs> <laughs> and then the chickens. Yeah, it's a big part of this, and there were like a lot of decisions. Um, Amina, our amazing costume designer, she made this really bulky um, costumes, costumes. <laughs> yeah, with real feathers. And we had people inside this, these costumes just walking like chickens. And like the prosthetic legs were amazing, like referencing dinosaurs. Apparently, dinosaurs and chickens, they're related. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the thing I know, uh, there was a big discussion with like this chicken wearing trousers or not. Um, and at the end, it was no trousers, but yes to the jacket. That we thought it was really playful with the chicken wings and I don't know, also adding a bit more confusion to the story. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of craft you can see, like just feather by feather, filling these costumes. And there is a reason they're headless. Um, if you, it's kind of a surreal scene to be there. To be. <laughs> well, we had these people with tennis balls attached to them so they could capture the light and, and the diffusion. I don't know, very technical, but we wanted to do the heads in post-production because we thought the acting and like the best way to make it believable and bring it to life was through post-production. Time-based arts, Amazing job again, the texture, the model, they did everything for the chickens. And then you can see already with our actors how it comes alive. It's insane, yeah. Yeah, these are our main characters. And this is a kind of a previews we have after our first offline when you start working and you see the render is not there, but you can, you know, tweak and see some changes. To be honest, we didn't change much, they did an amazing job. Cool. And after doing a campaign like this, you expect making some noise in the internet and getting like good reactions. Uh, we love this one. We also love this one. <laughs> and uh, talking about babies. Well, we just had a baby. Not me and Charlie, but me and my partner. <laughs> and while well, my mom came to take care, she, her English is not as good. She was really scared about the ad, which I think might be a good thing. <laughs> But the best response we got from our lovely ad was your invitation uh, uh, for being here tonight. It was great. It was a lot of fun. So again, thank you. Gracias. Thank you very much. Good night.